The overall goal of this procedure is to isolate and mount cerebral arterioles for studies of vascular function and structure using pressure myography. This method can be used to answer key questions in the cerebrovascular field, such as how the cerebral microvasculature quickly adapts to changes in intraluminal pressure or nutrient demand or during pathological conditions. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows for pressurization of the arteriole in addition of intraluminal pressure, which are important physiological determinants of vascular function. To begin, using a micropipette puller with the appropriate settings, such as those listed here, pull capillaries to generate cannulas. After inserting a cannula into the holder of a myograph chamber and aligning it under a dissecting microscope, use forceps to carefully break the tip to the desired diameter, such as 10 micrometers, as shown here. Fill both cannulas with cerebral spinal fluid or ACSF containing 1.8 millimolar calcium and use 5 to 20 milliliters of calcium-free ACSF supplemented with 1% BSA and 10 micromolar diltiazem to fill the chamber. Store the chamber at 4 degrees Celsius until just before the cannulation. After isolating a mouse brain, according to the text protocol, under the dissecting scope, locate the...